Hello, everyone. Hello. Good afternoon. This is Aichi and Luisa. And Barty. And we're here to do our daily alchemy today. Yes. And today is August the 7th, 2022. It is a Sunday. Beautiful day out It there. is. Yeah. A little warm, but... A little bit of a heat wave here. Uh -huh. But I love it. Oh, I have a jumper. I'm going to call that my top card. Oh, that is the Five of Pentacles. Oh, the Five of Pentacles. Nice. Mm -hmm. And on the bottom? Ah. Oh, there you go. Try not to get glare. Oh, beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> wow, this is great. Oh, yeah, I forgot to give you a yeah. There we go. The great energies. Yeah. It feels like that today. The Five of Pentacles. Hmm. A humbly dressed couple stand before a stained glass window showing five pentacles. The woman holds her child close to provide warmth. Behind them is a church where they could seek shelter, but they appear so preoccupied by their fate that they do not see it. Hmm. This card is perhaps everything the merchant shown in the four was worried about. The Five of Pentacles supplies a warning of paying careful attention to your financial affairs to guard against loss. So this isn't the time to head for the shops and indulge in a spot of retail therapy. Yeah. Ah, no crazy spending sprees. No, that's Temporary sure. hardships are indicated and may be felt on a financial or even emotional level, yet help is at hand if you look more closely. Money or resources could be lacking, so take time to carefully review financial affairs, ensure everything is in order, and recognize and reorganize the budget accordingly. This would not be a good time to enter into a new financial commitment or arrangement. Let caution be your word, watchword here. That said, be careful not to miss any valid opportunities that could improve your situation at this time. How awesome. Isn't that really, so? Really, when I saw that card, because, you know, we've been, we've been, like I said, trying to figure out how to generate income. And you know, we have this project started, and we're also going to start another little project, you know, that, and it's so funny, you know, mm -hmm. right? Because really, that's what it's about. That's true. Having faith. Mm. Uh, let's see. The Wheel, of Fortune. the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. The Wheel of Fortune sits against the backdrop of the heavens and planets. Upon its face are shown the signs of the zodiac. There is no human element shown here to influence the movement of the wheel, so we are left to consider that fate is at work. The movement of the wheel depends upon the mechanics that drive it, and where it lands is a question of chance. The wheel re represents the cycle of life, showing the transient nature of change. The Wheel of Fortune is also known as a destiny card. It brings a positive change of fortune, unless badly aspected, and can indicate the commencement of a new cycle when progress can be made. Yeah. It is important to make the most of this fortunate time, for as, if, as with anything, change is always just around the corner. Wow. Excellent, excellent. So I take these two cards as meaning that, well, uh, yes, this new project that we're doing to try to, to generate income, uh, this one in, the one that we're about to do, you know, uh, uh, are both good. That you know, This is a bravo for the, the time you know, to do a wheel things. of fortune. Yes, it's actually time wow. to start implementing the avenues to generate yourself some okay. income. How about the that? The universe is all for us. Yeah, yeah independence. Okay. All right. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Do a little shuffle. All right. 
The top card. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. And the bottom card would be... Oh, wow. The Four oh, of Wands. Wow. Uh, the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands. The Six of Swords, you know, kind of like traveling from where it was, you know, uh, choppy waters and not too good. Uh, yeah, on, on a journey to where it's smoother sailing, you know. And, and you're taking with you, you know, your, those, your life is moving, you know. Going from, where well, I say, from choppy quarters into, ah, I believe so. Let's see. By the light of the full moon, a cloaked lady calmly buries herself across the water. Six swords stand upright in the boat, but they do not appear to be threatening. Hmm. The meaning of the six of swords is quite literal, moving out of stormy waters into calmer ones. Mm -hmm. If you have experienced difficult times, this card assures you that matters will improve and harmony will once more be restored. Yeah, I could show Wow. As the six swords in the boat demonstrate, our experiences are part of us and travel with us. A reminder of the life lessons we have encountered. Yeah. This card can also represent a physical journey, usually over long water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's very much so. The Six of Swords, you know, we're, we're embarking on, on, on business ventures mm -hmm. to take us from stormy waters to much more, to calm, much waters. more calm waters of prosperity. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. And the Four of Wands, oh my God. Yeah. Where we... the it's four like, yay, wands. celebration time. <laughs> four Wands firmly planted in the ground show the stability of the number four. Garlands of flowers have been attached, signifying triumph and celebration. Wow. In this card, a man now faces us. His attention is upon his family and he appears contented. Rabbits gaze peacefully, undisturbed, in a seen atmosphere, a serene atmosphere. We now see stability as a result of the hard work that has gone before, not only feeling satisfied with what you have so far accomplished, but also a sense of harmony, which now means you can afford to reward yourself with some time off. Ah, holidays are indicated, a time of rest and relaxation with your friends and family. Uh, welcome pause to recharge your batteries. Mm -hmm. wow. The Four of Wands brings a feel-good factor into play, a sense of contentment with one's health and life. Mm. When other indications are present, it can also show plans for marriage being made, in which case this card could further strengthen the message of the other cards. Wow. How about that? Abundance and happiness yes, sounds moving good from, to me. So today is about right where you, once we felt it was you know stormy waters, but to actually now we're taking everything that we have, all of our skills, mm -hmm. right, and everything we have at, at at our availability to to move ahead. You know, all of our resources. Yes, all of our resources to move ahead in any way we can to build ourselves some abundance and and it, it really is we're, we're watching it build as, as, as we speak as we speak so wow what wonderful wonderful cards mm -hmm. all right now all right it's awesome i'm gonna shuffle the next thing okay the Jack, Ooh, of, the diamonds. Jack of Diamonds. Oh. And the Five of Clubs. And the Five of Clubs. Okay, the Jack of Diamonds. A new financial venture. <clears throat> it's true. Especially like this other thing that we're going to do on the side, you know. It's, you know, we're just finding out about it. We're it, you know, like like most people, I'll even say, like, you know, like a grub hub or Ruby Reads or something, you know. And we're going to try to we, we have to do something, you know? Mm. And so we're learning very much a jack, a novice, an apprentice at this new, and this too. This new mm, venture. You know, the the, the, uh, the video 
personality thing, you know. Yes. Very, yeah. And, okay, the clubs. The five of clubs is all about, and it's true, coming up with the ideas and having all of, you know, a five is, it, not only do you have all four corners, but it's full, too. A five is like balance halfway between, you know, the, the, the you know, the, the ten. A five is filled in a five of clubs is all about the ideas so like you're not oh the pinnacle of all the ideas you haven't come up with all the ideas yet but you're Certainly filled with the inspiration the and that's what it is that it's like being totally you know overflowing with the inspiration and it's not just about the ideas but it's also magic clubs are about the magic so you have all of the the power and the magic of the universe behind behind oh. you too yeah Oh, we'll good. certainly need all of that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And the top card, the Queen of Diamonds. And the Queen of Diamonds. Wow, mm -hmm. excellent. And the bottom card, the Six of Diamonds. The Six of Diamonds. Wow. wow. All right. Lots of so diamonds. The Queen today. of Diamonds. The Queen of Diamonds. She is one who is... You, she very much knows how to delegate her 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 resources okay she her resources are all about the home pretty much you know the queen is all about your um not so much out here in the world you know gonna spend your resources out there no it's all about taking care That's of like your home. home right exactly and i mean the six of diamonds is showing a garden growing i always look at six as though all of the things you've planted in life are now, now starting coming. to come to fruition they're popping they're growing and you're seeing the evidence so and this is you know in the sioux of diamonds it's you're seeing it in in, a, in an abundance way wow. in, in a flow of luck and flow of of financial prosperity so wow this is very very this is good feeling really really good it sure is it really is Right. So far, everything that you know, the cards and, and, and the energies have been showing us is that we're right on the right track when it comes to what we're doing a new project, this new venture, you know. Ooh. All right, let's see this one. Oh, oh wow, I love this card. This is another, I love lava, you know, and this is such a the creation of life, you know, this is brand new creation it's coming forth from, you know, the very bowels of the earth. This is lava bursting forth. Wow, really? Yeah, I love that card. And on the top is space tapes again. <laughs> My God, this is coming out every day. There's space tapes again. Space tapes is, of course, the wildest imagination. So, Creation, real tangible things of earth, the real things we live off of, like air and earth and water, all coming from the flow of creation. And and to really let it go with your wildest imagination. imagination. Oh wow, space yeah. tapes came out every single day so far. Because this whole venture is like a big space tape. <laughs> it <laughs> really <certainly> is. <laughs> uh, righty, on the bottom, we have... Uh, Which one is... Oh, wow. The easy, breezy, oceany one I got yesterday. Uh -huh. With... It's such a beautiful card to see. It's got like, you know... Oh, Very tranquil. It's a tranquil card. That's a good word for this card. We'll call it tranquility. Ah, That's a good right. name for that card. Uh, mm -hmm. And on the top we have... Ooh. Oh, wow. Uh, and here is just, I call it earthy. So tranquility. And, and it's very earthy. oceany and watery and air. And here we have earth. Wow. And I call this... The earth spirit. 
whichever way you want to look at it, you know. This is the browns and the greens. And if you really look close in all here, you'll really, and they, you know, they came out, you know, by themselves. I didn't put them in when I was cold, uh, when I was painting it. You paint from your gut. You just put the paint on the paper. And then there's all these images in here. It's such a beautiful card. I call it the magical earth, you know, magical earth energies. So while tranquility and the beautiful deep woods, magical earth energies, beautiful cards. Yeah. I'm going to open the dictionary. I will breathe. Let's see what that says. Alrighty, let's see. Flourish. Wow. Oh. To grow well or luxuriantly. To thrive. To fare well. Prosper. Oh, let's see. To be in one's prime. To make whole sweeping movements. To wield, wave, or exhibit dramatically. Oh. Excellent. Flourish. Very, very good. Wow, that's an excellent... Act of waving or brandishing. Wow, what an excellent... Wow. All right. All Your right. Turn. Wow, flourish. Uh, let's see. Sideshow. Wow. A small show offered in addition to the main attraction <laughs> at a circus. A diverting incident or spectacle. <laughs> That's great. Oh. <laughs> my my sideshow buddy to me and my spectacleness. That there we go. So perfect. Couldn't be more descriptive. <laughs> Couldn't be more descriptive. Uh, so here we are, Gina Luisa. And buddy. And for today's daily alchemy. Have a great day. Yeah.